This January, Disney Plus is the home to new stories, new journeys, and new beginnings, with Disney's national treasure, Edge of History, as well as Star Wars Bad Batch Season 2 for the older kids in your family. Months have passed since the events on Kamino and the Bad Batch continue their journey navigating the Empire after the fall of the Republic. I'm definitely looking forward to that new national treasure show for one of our Friday family movie nights to cuddle up on the couch with some popcorn. All these and more streaming this month only on Disney+. Plus. Hello, Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! On the last episode, we saw that Corinna the Kinkajou and her two small cubs, she took them on their very first adventure. But when they arrived, something wasn't right. It was this whole adventure a big waste, and what in the world is happening down there? Doesn't sound good. But let's see what happens next. Corinna and her cubs Miles and Ross had just made their first adventure across the jungle floor. She was leading the cubs to some kind of surprise, but was actually quite surprised herself when she looked down over a valley of ruins. Boys, I, I was told this was supposed to be a beautiful field of flowers as far as the eye can see, but I only see a few flowers still alive she said sadly. What happened, Mom? The cubs asked. I'm not sure, boys, but let's head down carefully to see if we can figure that out. All three of the Kinkajous walked down the hill and headed towards the last little area left of the living flowers. As they got closer and closer, he started to hear some buzzing and humming. What's that sound? Corinna thought to herself. Sure sounds like some kind of insect, but... Just then, she saw three tiny bees buzzing around the flowers. They worked back and forth, back and forth, like their lives depended on it. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, um, bees, can you hear me? Corinna wasn't afraid to get their attention. She thought they might know what was going on with this field. Hey, up there. How can I help you? One bee named Lloyd finally stopped working to talk to her. Oh, thank goodness you can hear me. Yes, my cubs and I just ventured all the way from the deep rainforest over there in search of a large wildflower field. But it seems to not be here anymore. Er, are we on the wrong side of the forest? Oh, yes. Well, we used to be known as the largest, most beautiful field of flowers in these parts here. But it was just too much for my family and I to keep going once our high family moved away. We just can't pollinate everything all on our own. The bee sounded pretty discouraged. Oh my, well that is very sad news, Corinna said. But... You know, one of our jobs as kinkajous, or well, you know, a honey bear, if you know what that is, is to help pollinate. We use our long tongues to drink nectar, and the pollen sticks to our fur. So when we move on to the next flower, it just rubs right off, just like you bees. You know, we could help you. Maybe it's not too late to help these flowers flourish again. Oh, that would be amazing. The bee said and he called to the other two busy bees. Fred, Ralph, this is Corinna and her cubs. They're kinkajous. Oh, kinkajous? I know them well, Ralph said. If anyone can save this field, it's them. We will get to work, gentlemen, and when we come back next time, we'll bring our whole family. Wait, hold on a second. I'm so confused. When they said that 
They're also known as a honey bear. I thought that meant, you know, they like to eat honey. But it's kind of like kinkajous get their name honey because they're like bees. They help pollinate flowers by sticking their tongue in and to drink the nectar, but the pollen sticks to their fur. You know, that's an important part of flowers. Flowers need to be pollinated, and bees do a really good job at that. That's where bees rub their the hairs on their body on a flower to collect the pollen. The pollen then travels to another flower on the bee, or I guess the kinkajou, and when they rub on the next flower, that is what pollinates the flower. And I know I've said that word a million times, but why do flowers need to be pollinated? Well, that is how they produce their seeds. Sometimes those seeds come inside of an apple or maybe a sunflower seed that just has those seeds built into it. But flowers that do not get pollinated, they die without producing seeds. And what makes seeds really important for flowers? Yes, that is how then those seeds turn into the flowers for next year. And so if flowers aren't getting pollinated, all those flowers are going to die and they're not going to come back next year. Oh, that's why like bees and bugs and I guess kinkajous as pollinators, they're really important for our ecosystem. Well, do you think Miles and Ross, those baby kinkajous, are going to be able to figure out how to do this? Well, let's see. Miles and Ross learned how to drink nectar and they couldn't believe how sweet and tasty it was. Mom, 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 can't, uh, let's come back every night, Ross begged. That was the most delicious thing ever. Uh, can we please come back tomorrow? Please, 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 please. Oh, don't worry, cubs. We have a big job to help with, and we will come back as much as we can. Yes. Come on, mom, give me a tail five. <laughs> Their mom gave Miles and Ross tail fives. I guess if you have tails, that's a pretty cool thing you can do. Instead of a high five, a tail five. Within a few weeks, new flowers were emerging. And what used to look like ruins started to quickly look like a brand new field of tiny sprouting flowers. The Kinkajou family came back regularly and brought friends with. And made good friends with the bees as they were able to work together. As the flowers grew, new pollinators moved in. Corinna was so thankful for the power of working together as a team. Each critter in her neighborhood played a very important role, and she was so proud to call this place home to herself and her cubs. Wow, what an amazing adventure. Not only did they learn how to work together, but they also saved a really important part of that ecosystem. Flowers are so important for producing food for other critters to eat. And ah, they just smell good too. Well, I'm so glad that we had our Kinkajou friends that were able to save the day as pollinators. Hey friends, if you love being a critter protector just like me, then you should check out our starter pack for critter protectors. Your parents can look down in the show notes below and click on that link where you can see all the things that come inside of that critter protector bag, including a really cool bird feeder that you get to build yourself. Make sure that you paint it with the most amazing colors ever. And then when you put it out, critters are going to want to eat out of that bird feeder. It's pretty cool and an important part of creating a healthy ecosystem for all of the critters in your backyard. So join me as we create critter spaces together all around the world. Critter spaces are important. It requires food, a source of water, and shelter for all the critters. You can learn more of how to make your own critter space in the links down below. Well, friends, I hope you have a super duper day, friends, and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye. 
This January, Disney Plus is the home to new stories, new journeys, and new beginnings with Disney's National Treasure Edge of History, as well as Star Wars Bad Batch Season 2 for the older kids in your family. Months have passed since the events on Kamino and the Bad Batch continue their journey navigating the Empire after the fall of the Republic. I'm definitely looking forward to that new National Treasure show for one of our Friday family movie nights to cuddle up on the couch with some popcorn. All these and more streaming this month only on Disney+.